We are midway through the second round of the 2015 French Open and here now with me to discuss the action is Alex from Boom Betting Agency. Now, Roger Federer again won in straight sets, uh, though he was forced into a tie break against Marcel uh, Granolas uh, with what appears to be a favourable draw. How deep do you see him going? I, I think that he will go very deep, maybe also final and maybe who knows uh, if he will catch a great day, he might win also the tournament. The tie break was a relaxing one, uh, ended 7-2 for uh, Federer, but Federer, uh, the master of the backhand with one hand, played an awesome game. Uh, the players uh, that uh, have him as an opponent, they usually give their best tennis and also granulars did the same. But the experience said the word and Federer went through the next round with uh, no stress at all. Yeah, OK. Now, how has round two been for you so far as far as betting wise goes? Have you had any shockers or have you made lots of money? Uh, yes, there were some shockers also. I wasn't expecting Fabio Fonini to lose the game with uh, Benoit Per in straight sets. He was a huge favorite, but uh, he had a really bad day and unfortunately, unfortunately he lost. Benoit Per is gaining strength after the problems of health from the past uh, couple of months. And now he's uh, trying to show that he's a really good uh, young player and in the future we will hear more about him. Now during the competition here you've prov been providing us with tips. Uh, what, tips have you, uh, what tips have you won and what, where have you made money with those tips? The best money from uh, this round uh, were the wins of uh, Gilles Müller over uh, Paolo Lorenzi, priced at 1.8. It was a long uh, match on five sets, but um, Gilles Müller win on the decider. And also the number of games over uh, 37.5 at Wawrinka's match against uh, Dusan Lajovic. Also the ones from uh, yesterday uh, with uh, Djokovic over 22.5 uh, uh, set in front of Niminen. So uh, those were the, the biggest uh, three wins till now at the boys. OK, fantastic. I look forward to hearing your bets uh, in a second. But a uh, couple of questions to ask you first. Uh, the first one is, is what do you think of the matchup between Gael Monfils as a minus 226 favourite against Pablo Cueves? It will not be uh, an easy match for Gael. Uh, Pablo, Pablo Cuevas is a good player. He won over Dominic Thiem. And uh, I am sure that he will do a good match in front of the public's favorite Gael Monfils. That is a pleasure to watch all the time. Uh, this game I will play it at the number of sets. I am sure that we will see an over 3.5 set in the match. At the not, at the not, at, uh, and the odd for that is very good at 1.75. Okay. Now, apart from the competition favorites, do you have any long, long shots uh, that you've got your eye on right now? Uh, apart from uh, Djokovic, that I think that, uh, and also Federer, that they will, uh, um, uh, we will find them uh, very deep in the tournament, semi-final, final, and one of them for sure, the the winner of uh, the competition. I'm thinking also Vavrinka, if uh, he will uh, drop uh, the um, the psychology problems from his head, he is one of the best. Uh, one of the best uh, players uh, in uh, Roland Garros uh, now. Uh, another, uh, another name that uh, might uh, go deep in the tournament was uh, Grigor Dimitrov, but he lost. I was thinking at the beginning that he will go deep. Okay, also Nadal uh, might uh, go uh, uh, as far as the semi-final, also final, but I don't think that uh, he will win the trophy this year. Okay, and what about Andy Murray's chances right now? Andy Murray after he got married, yeah, correct, uh, very good question. I think that after he got uh, married and he lost a few pounds, I think that uh, he improved uh, his speed uh, on uh, clay of Roland Garros and uh, he's playing impressive and he won uh, one or two um, tournaments on clay this year. So he is also one of the favorites. But uh, I don't think that in a Grand Slam, first of all, on clay, uh, he will win this year. Who knows? Uh, let's see them in the few rounds uh, uh, before the um, before the second week, and after that uh, we will uh, predict uh, also the winner of the tournament. All right, fantastic. Do you have any early round three tips then uh, to give us today? I have two tips for tomorrow. Uh, Thanasis Kokinakis to win over Bernard Tomic at an odd of 1.5, uh, and Simone Bolelli to win over uh, Victor Troiki at 1.61.
Okay, fantastic. Alex will be back on the show again to recap the day's action and then to give us some tips for the following day there. And if you want to come and join us over on our Twitter page, uh, SBR Sports Picks, uh, we've got in-play action happening all the time. Do come check it out. Alex, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Ed.